Hey, my love, me, me, me. It is now day 12 of Vlogmas, December 2017. Stay tuned for the question of the day. All right, team, I love me, me, me. Thank you so much for coming back today. So yesterday we spoke about the club scene and can you take the person seriously? If you have not seen that, make sure that you check out the playlist in the description box below. So the playlist is for, it is going to be filling up every single day. So if you um, miss a video for the next 31 days actually we're less than 31 days now so basically what i'm trying to say is the entire month of december i have been answering questions that the viewers have sent in if you're not following me on social media then you make sure that you do that because that is where i ask my questions so we can stay engaged outside of youtube and all of that information in is is in the description box below as well now the question of the day is when I approach a group of women, should I say hello to everybody or should I basically just approach the one that I have my eye on? Now, my answer to this is very simple. You want to say hello to everybody in the group. You don't have to stand there and, um, you know, approach every single lady. And of course, this question came from a guy. So I want to make sure that I say that I'm really speaking to the gentleman today with this particular question. And so when you're approaching a group of women, you want to absolutely speak to the entire group of women. Do not ignore anybody that's there. You can go over and say hello to the entire group. You don't have to single everybody out. And then once everybody has said hello, then you can make your way over to whomever it is that you actually had your eye on all right family so let me share the story with you right here so I was out with one of my girlfriends and this was during the time that we were going to the club so it happened a few years ago but I was out with her and this guy he obviously um, was really enthralled or intrigued or whatever like his he he was he was in on my friend like and so anyway her and I we, we honestly um, we seen him from across the way, but then he kind of disappeared. And we knew that, you know, he was he was he was out there on the dance floor. He was like trying to give my friend the eye. So we was laughing, but during the course he he disappeared. So we continued our conversation. And uh what happened was by the time he finally came over, um, literally he came and interrupted our conversation. So that's mistake number one. He didn't um say excuse me, that's mistake number two. And then um when he did come over, literally I was dismissed. Now, mind you, let me just say how this dude stepped right in between me and my friend. And so if you know anything about me, I would not want anybody to come in between me and my friends like that and be just like super rude. As And then so anyway, let me get to the main main meat of the story is that when he started talking, he brought, like I said, he literally stepped in between us and interrupted our conversation and all that stuff. And he started talking to her. So I, I just turned my back and let him do what he do. I wasn't going to say nothing. Now, let me make sure I pause for that dramatic pause on purpose. I wasn't going to say nothing until brother turned around and was like, oh, I ain't even see you there. So, unfortunately, he got his rights read that night. And uh, the people, I didn't even realize how hard I was going on, Brock. People around me was like, oh, dang. I mean, you know. I, I kind of caused the scene, but I really didn't mean to. So, yeah, I didn't realize I was going as hard as I did on bruh. But, you know, don't ignore the group of women. And in this particular case, it was only two of us. And so when he turned around and was like, oh, I didn't even see you there. I'm like, dude, you stepped. So this when I started reading him is right. Dude, you stepped in between us. We seen you looking over and I, I get it. Maybe she was just as beautiful and he just didn't even notice that she was in a conversation specifically with me. Like even when he was across the way. So I just felt like, dude, the situation could have been handled a lot better. I wouldn't even had to handle you. And I didn't even notice that a little, a small little crowd was getting around us. It was only like four people, but still they was like, Ooh, you know, you know, when people start making noises, of course, more people started to pay attention and I just kind of let it go and moved on with life. But yeah, you just, he just basically was very rude and, and he didn't even, maybe he didn't realize. Maybe it was my bad. And now that I'm older, now I can see the error in his ways. And so maybe he really did not see me. But at the moment, at that time, I was like, dude, that's a no. 
And like I said, I was going to let it pass until he was like, uh, uh, I didn't even see you there. Man, bye. Anywho, to make sure that I answered that question, <laughs> I just want to make sure that you know, speak to the entire group of women and then talk to the one that you want to speak to. All of us want to be acknowledged. Every single one of us. I'm not saying that you got to kiss my butt or kiss the girl's butt or kiss all of the friends, but you ain't got to do all that. I'm just saying simply say hi. How's everybody doing tonight? Hone in on the one you want. How's everybody doing tonight? What y'all drinking? How y'all doing? Then to do the closer to the one that you want. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm putting out there, bruh. That's all I'm putting out there. All right? Now, this is your very first time to I Love Me, Me. You make sure that you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me, Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools to have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship. I will see you guys tomorrow with the question of the day. Mwah.